Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back, freaking finally, to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. I am your host, Nightflower Love, and in the last episode, I believe we finished up the Silphco Tower, we beat Giovanni, and I believe we began our trek eastward and downward to Fuchsia, correct? In hopes of leveling up our beautiful, beautiful Lapras. Honestly, that's not the best spread of Lapras in the world, but I don't care, because, because it's Lapras, and I love Lapras. A whole lot. Like, a whole lot. So recently, I haven't been making any videos because I've been a little bit, uh, preoccupied, let's say, with something completely different, aka a, um... Okay, so I got a speeding ticket, and I was a little freaked out, but it ended up not being that big of a deal, and I'm only getting around to, to uh, recording now because I was freaking out about it so much that I had gotten used to not doing anything. I know, I know, I'm a terrible person. Oh well. So who we fought both of you guys. Did I fight you? You can also use it. Yeah, the, there's two different ways. Okay, I didn't fight you. Alright, fight me. I'm feeling hungry and mean. Bring it on. I'm feel I'm feeling slightly queasy and ready to beat up some chops with my Nessie, even if they're eleven levels higher. Oh wait, no no no. They get up, they're gonna have Karate Chop and Low Kick and stuff. I, I don't want to deal with that, actually. I ain't about that life. Overgrow, I need your help. Yeah, I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm gonna Razor Leaf you. Yeah! Alright. I've just been too tired or something lately to... To not, it's like, I don't know, I just, I really need to start getting more of these out, but I guess I've just been really overwhelmed because I don't remember what I did and what I didn't do in Zelda, and it's kind of, like, freaking me out because, like, I don't want to do things that I didn't do because I have to redo everything, and it's a lot more difficult because I don't have to just get to a dungeon and such. It's just... Okay, so these are the cycling road. This is the cycling road. It's supposed to be a downhill, which is why you, uh, automatically go down, which I suppose makes sense. It's an interesting sort of gameplay... Oh my god, I didn't realize there were ponies out here. Yeah, I don't know the Pokémon of this area too well, but, you know, this is good enough grinding for Nessie, I suppose. Yeah, I, I definitely really like, um... I like the cycling roads, I guess. Different cycling roads for different... Wow, this is gonna take a while. Oh, well, and probably not be worth it, actually. And the pony just continues to tail with me, which means it's gonna stomp me next turn. I know it is. I know it is. Okay, okay, thank god. Unless this doesn't kill, which, in which case, we're fucked. Go, shit! Oh, do I risk this? I'm gonna go ahead and- oh, it used ember. Never mind, we're fine. It still says not very effective, despite the fact that it should be normally effective. That's weird. Oh well. Alright, bring it on. What do you want, kiddo? That's an affectionate name. If you're trying to insult me, call me kid. Don't call me kiddo. I've been really obsessed with this live blog recently, too, and and it's, uh, it's quite good. It's very, very good. Okay, this one's slightly less of a threat. We can psychic it. Yeah, it's a Steven Universe live blog, which is one of the- and it's one of- okay, Karate Shop's a normal type move, so we're fine. It's one of the most in-depth and interesting live blogs, and I just want to scream at them for some of the things that they do, because- but I don't want to spoil- like, either I want to scream at them that they're right or that they're wrong, it doesn't really matter, it's just that they're, you know, you, you gotta go in blind, and I'm, I'm, I'm always really blasé about spoilers, because for me, what do what happens doesn't matter nearly as much as how it happens most of the time. Like, I mean, it's nice to know, like, you know, a, not to know a big twist like Garnet is a fusion or whatnot. God, I hope my other Steven Universe live blog doesn't read- doesn't see this video, but I doubt he will. I doubt he ever will. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Level up. Awesome. Oh wow, just the- the- the music actually, like, overwrites everything. The- 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 the, uh, bweenu, bweenu, bweenu overwrites everything else. I didn't even realize that. That's actually kind of cool. In a- in a very weird way. I've actually been getting back into Hatoful Boyfriend again. And I- I suddenly, like, I had this idea. I had this idea to, um, make a- a Hatoful Boyfriend fan game or something. 
or at least a fan fiction or something. That's still a cod piece and you still have a whip. Are you Larry Blackman? You can't be. You don't have the Freddie Mercury mustache and also you're clearly not black. Oh well, it's not a big deal. There was this idea way back when I first got into Hot Topo Boyfriend about this like fan game sort of thing. It takes place in like the same universe but far, far away. Instead of in Japan, it, ta it would have taken place in like Great Britain or something. Like where there was this kind of uh, this kind of, uh, some place where there was a really isolationist sort of view, some kind of deserted island nation thing, where the, uh, where, you know, it's like sort of this utopian thing, but actually it was like everybody who showed signs of the disease was just killed immediately so it couldn't spread or something. And you could like choose between characters, and there were like some, he had, there were a mix of humans and birds, and they kind of lived together. And, um, Sort of, I was sort of going to. Th I was thinking about like having a couple of different protagonists, like you know, and different genders and stuff. And I was, I had this weird idea about instead of like you know, trying to use a disease as a, um, as a weapon or something. Why not try to, um, you? Why not try, uh, trying to like, like bird human, few bird human cross species things, like Miru and Kaku, but much darker, because I can. Um, so I, I just, I don't know, I had all these ideas, uh, but I kind of lost them as time went on, but I, I kind of do really want to make a, well, I've always kind of wanted to make a visual novel. Also, Jolty, I'm so sorry. Look at that HP, guys. <laughs> That's so awful. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jolty. Unfortunately, you bike at regular walking speed everywhere except down, which is very, very irritating. I am, in fact, headed to Fuchsia. Biker sent out wheezing. I know what to do with wheezings. Right, Nessie? That's not what we do with wheezings. I'm sorry, I pressed the button too fast. Okay. That's fine. We're fine. All right. See, I know this game a lot better than I know the end- the, the current parts that I'm in of- of, uh, of... of the other game, of Zelda, of Minish Cap. I've only actually ever beaten Minish Cap one time. So... It's... So I've- it's very, very... Um... <laughs> it's a little awkward. I should probably have done a practice file or something. But, you know, at this point, I can just- hopefully I can just explain to you guys the differences and everything will be okay. I- I don't wanna- okay, we got a coughing next, and Nessie's poisoned. But I think we can handle it. I think we can- we can go ahead and psychic it. I believe in you, Nessie. I believe! Poison's actually not that big of a deal in this gen, as we've discovered. So... It's like two damage. Or not. Okay, I guess it's more than two damage because Nessie's got a lot of health, but, you know. It's the thought that matters. I keep using Psychic, I probably should have used Thunderbolt or Water Gun there. Oh well. Another wheezing. Why do you have two wheezings and a coughing in the middle? Shouldn't you lead off with a coughing or something? I should probably use Thunderbolt instead of Psychic. Oh well. So, yeah, I'm... I don't know. I really like Minish Cap, I really do. But it's, it's a little... Like, interesting playing through Zelda games again when there's so many different things that I didn't notice in my in my original playthrough that now I'm now I'm noticing and I'm like, oh crap. Now I'm noticing and I'm like, okay, I, I could have gotten that. I could have gotten this. Like, I wanted. Uh, do I have enough? Do I have the right pieces of heart? Did I get? Do I have enough? Do I have the right ones that I got in my original things? It's like, ugh. It's just the fact that I lost all the data, and I really need to work on that. And it's it's not. I'm gonna I'm gonna start saving before and after you know recordings. The hip recordings now for sure. I know what happened though. It like that my headphones weren't plugged in properly, and so it didn't record the audio right. And I could have just done post commentary, but it would have been even duller than my normal commentary is. <laughs> so I don't want. I didn't really want to do that. Okay, we got to level 25. Body slam. Hmm, body slam. Hmm. No, we're not gonna have body slam. Because we're not gonna have it on our final moveset, and I really don't... 
Like, crash and burn indeed. We're not gonna have body slam on our final move set, so it's not really important to have right now. I actually forget the, the level and Nessie learns Ice Beam, but you know, that's definitely what we want on her for sure. And then of course, you know, we're gonna get Surf pretty soon here. So we want we want that. Okay, so those are the only trainers I could have fought at this point. Let's see here. Okay, I fought all the I fought both of those guys. Oh, there's something over here. There's a fight. There's a guy I could fight. I'd Voltorb electrify you. Oh no, not electric types. Ooh, Nessie. Actually, no. Nessie's got really good special. So so because it's one stat in this game, she might be able to ha she might be able to handle these guys. Let's go for it, Nessie. Go for the- go for the- oh, 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 that's not- that's not good. That's less than happy. Nessie? Nessie, you've got a lot of HP. Come on, Ness- Ooh, I like that. I was originally going to teach Bide to Nessie, just because she has so much HP that, you know, she would have been a decent Bide user, but at this point, I'm fairly certain I sold the TM already, so it's not really that big of a deal. Maybe I should have kept Body Slam for a little while. Oh well. Once we get Surf, we're gonna be able to take everything out without any problems. Thank you, Psychic. Water Gun's just not a good move, that's all. Ground it out, huh? There's a fight. Okay. My Pokemon won't evolve. Oh, you've got a Machoke, don't you? It's because you have no friends, that's all. It's not It's not any real reason, except, you know, you've got no friends. Oh, that's a powerful Machoke. Oh, Nessie, can you handle this? You've got one Psychic left. Low Kick, oh no! No, 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 Nessie? 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 Oh, I shouldn't have thought any, any other thing. Okay, that's fine. We'll go for Overgrow. Overgrow can at least take a few hits while I use a Revive, because I know I've got one. There we go. If you want, did I ever explain why I was playing yellow instead of fire red and leaf green? I actually will get around to playing fire red and leaf green. I'm probably going to do them as challenges instead of as like regular playthroughs. But I am actually going to try and play like every generation of Pokemon, and ca I count the remakes in the generation that they were remade in. You know, like so I'm going to play. So I'm probably going to have like a, a like a fire red or leaf green. Nuzlocke or something going on during my Emerald playthrough or something. My regular Let's Play of Emerald. Something like that. I feel like that would work. Since Gen 1 and 2 don't have those, that's that's less of a thing that I can do. Although I really kind of did want to do a randomized Platinum Nuzlocke, so maybe I'll do a regular playthrough of Heart Gold or something. But, I mean, Heart Gold's really fun to kind of lock, too. There's also this cool thing called a kingdom lock. Jeez Louise, you're slow going up hills, though. Oh boy, this is a big hill. I'm so sorry, Ash. I didn't mean to put you through all this. Let's see. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anybody. And look, I was. We're bikers. Highway stars. I just, you know, I want to fight all the people and get Nessie as much experience as she possibly can get. We got a muck. All right. We're out of psychic, so we're gonna have to rely on Thunderbolt in this instance. Go for it, Desi. Poison, yes! Oh well. Again, poison's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna take a drink. I'm gonna take a drink. Okay. Thunderbolt is doing jack all. Actually, maybe I should. Oh, it did, it did the thing! Oh, I love that! Oh, but we missed. Oh boy, hmm. We don't have any Pokémon with Stomp, do we? It's unfortunate, but we're just gonna have to go with Beast. I think... You know what I just realized? I bet you Nidoqueen gets Stomp. I bet you she does. Instead of Thrash? I think she does, actually. Oh well, we'll just go ahead and uh, Earthquake. What do you mean you missed? You used Earthquake! There we go, that's more like it. Excuse me. Bye-bye! 
much more specially oriented, so there was no way I was going to survive that. Nessie leveled up! Alright, she's, she's less than ten levels away from catching up with everybody else. Except for Blaze, okay, I guess. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Need to use my antidote. Should probably use a potion, too. There you go. Sorry, I like this song. Oh, no, wait, no, didn't I say I disliked this song? I guess it grew on me. I guess it gets better later on. Like, the beginning part isn't that great. I guess I'm just not a big fan of 8-bit music most of the time. Alright. Good, I chose correctly. I need a little exercise. Good for you, friend. Bring it on. I just realized that the little uh, snake thing winding, winding its way across the screen actually goes either from the, from the inside or from the outside. That's kind of different and kind of neat. Oh, I've actually got one psychic left. Alright, let's go ahead and use it on this Maggie. That's right, I didn't get to use it on the Machoke. I had forgotten. HA! We one hit KO'd something! Alright, Nessie, you're the best. Okay, now we got more Mankeys to deal with, and we're going to do our best with Thunderbolt. Alright, ooh, nice paralysis. Okay, I think we can water gun it now. Did I ever tell you guys the story about how when, uh, originally when I was a kid, when it said, Oh, this Pokemon's paralyzed. It may not it, it may not attack. I thought that meant it couldn't attack. It was not allowed to attack. Because, you know, can I? Yes. May you? No. That's the, that's the whole thing that your parents tell you when you're a kid, right? But I, I kind of associated <laughs> the two things. It was very strange. Okay. Bring it on. I've got a Mega Drain, actually. I think I want to heal up that health that I've lost. Good job, Overgrow. Good job, baby. How long has this route taken so far? Ah, 17 minutes already? Lots of fights, I guess. Oh, well, that's not a big deal. I think I might make this a shorter episode because it's a little late and I do want to get to my... I do want to, uh see the rest of the live blog and such, but, you know. Uh, oh, whoops, I, for I forgot to switch because I was talking. I'm an idiot. And it would be stupid to switch back now. Oh well, Overgrow. Overgrow might just catch up with the rest of the level 36 starters. Okay, didn't quite get there. That's, that's, that's good. This, these are good. This is a good. Eh. Okay, now we're actually all good. Okay. Nessie's ha Nessie has so much HP. Okay. Is there anybody else in here? If any other trainers? What do these signs say? Trainer tips. All Pokemon are unique. Even Pokemon of the same type and level grow at different rates. I think they mean, like, to notice. Watch out for discarded items. Are there actually like hidden items around here? I didn't I, I wouldn't know. Okay. Bring it on. Nice bike, how's it handle? Decent. I mean like, you know, I wish it went up hills a little I wouldn't I wish I was better at going up hills, but I mean everybody wishes they were better at going up hills. Nobody's good at going up hills. Unless, you know, you're an Olympic bike hit cyclist, in which case, good job for you, but you know, you know, every normal person. Thunderbolt's going to be doing more than Water Gun, for, for sure, without any contest. But, you know, Water Gun's got more PP, so I gotta use it. I've also been in sort of a Final Fantasy XIII mood, but recently that's become one of those fandoms that I'm never really not in the mood to see stuff of. Well, probably because, you know, you see so little- HOLY MOTHER OF GOD! Jesus criminy crickets, Nessie! What just happened there? Whew! 
Okay, that was a little awkward. <laughs> okay. But yeah, Final Fantasy 13 is like... Okay, Final Fantasy 13. I think I've mentioned that Final Fantasy 13, not a good game. Final Fantasy 13 2 and Lightning Returns, amazing games. Really good games. Really, like, really define what a sequel should be. A sequel should... Final Fantasy 13 2 is... I believe somebody, somebody said once that, uh... What was it? Um... Ah, uh, yes, it was an anime, it was an anime analyst or something that said that the second Nanoha series is such a good sequel that it almost validates the first series as a series in general. Which I think perfectly relates to Final Fantasy XIII too. Final Fantasy XIII is not that good of a game. I will, I will admit that. It's too, it's like, it takes linearity way <laughs> too serious, way too literally. And it's, um, and it's battle system is a bit clunky, and it's story is a bit, you know, kind of cliche. But 13-2, holy god, not only does it introduce a whole ton more good characters to go along with the already really impressive roster of the first game. Seriously, the characters are the best part about the Final Fantasy 13, 13 games. The, like, oh no, I shouldn't, <laughs> like, 13-2 Slim, like, managed to streamline the battle for you hit the battle system and you managed to like you knew where you were going but you could go wherever you wanted if you wanted to and that's the kind of game I like I like a game that has a very linear storyline but you can but there are offshoots that you can take if you want to and they're never and they're never mandatory it's like well that's why I like Wind Waker so much and also I'm sorry I went off on that huge long tangent about Final Fantasy 13 while I was playing a Pokemon game but mostly, I just really, 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 really want Final. I want Lightning to appear in in Final Fan in Kingdom Hearts because, dear God, how amazing would that be? Lightning is like a huge ass. Is like the biggest badass. Like seriously, she's. It's, I mean, okay, maybe other than Caius, who also deserves to hit to be hit to appear in a Kingdom Hearts game. By the way, like seriously. Like, seriously, Square Enix. Why? Oh, I didn't f Okay. There's so many people here, and I'm so slow on this bike going up hills. It's a little irritating, but whatever. Q-Ball wants to fight. Man, we've spent, like, 25 minutes. 22 minutes, sorry. In this one route, doing this one thing. And I'm almost out of PP for all my moves with Nessie, and that's upsetting. So I might just have to fly back, because I can do that, because I've got a, I've got a, I've got a thing now. I might just have to fly back to, uh, Celadon again. Just try and take, you know, the path I didn't go last time. Yeah, I think I will do that, actually. I think I'm gonna finish, after this battle, I'm going to fly to Celadon and heal. And that should be fine, I think. Seriously, I fought with just Nessie, and she's absolutely wrecking everything. Well, okay, except for these Machokes, which still kind of scare me, especially when I'm out of Psychics. I think... I think the, the title I'm thinking of should, should be fine when I consider, you know, the content of this video. Cause you know, I gotta keep with those puns, right? You know, the the, the theme song jokes. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for as long as, as long as is necessary. I, I I really like that joke, actually. <laughs> it's it's a bit of a weird running gag, but you know. I find it I find it amusing and that's what matters, right? <laughs> right? No, I know it's not really what matters, it's fine. But I don't have enough viewers right now to uh, notify me if my my taste is terrible, so I'm just I'm just kind of going on, you know, what I know. Jeez Louise, there's a giant gap here, but it look but I fought all of these guys. But what am I doing? I can I, I said I would fly, and I didn't fly at all. Oh whoops. Oops, Celadon. I need to go to Celadon. I don't know why, but I was cycling through the route. I was cycling through expecting to get to a route or something. Why did it go all silent? There's no, like, music or anything? Whatever. 
We heal your Pokemon back to full perfect health, blah blah blah. We need your Pokemon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again because we have quotas. We have a quota to meet. Oh hey, a heart! Oh, I love you too, Pikachu! Oh, so cute. Okay. 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 That's cute as heckle. That's cute as heckle. That's so cute. Okay. Okay. This has been Nightful. Okay. In this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow, we trained Lapras a whole lot. Like a whole lot. And maybe that was- maybe that's a bit redundant. But who cares? I like my Lapras. I'm gonna use my Lapras. And you can- and you can all bite me. Right, Pikachu? That's a yes. That's that's a that's really really enthusiastic yes. By the way, okay. So in the in the next episode, we will continue training our Lapras, and hopefully, maybe it gets a Fuchsia City from one of its two sides. But I make no promises. This has been Nightflower Love. This has been Let's Play Pokemon Yellow, and I will catch all of you guys on the flip side later. <laughs>